no longer deemed a human being. So what you're now seeing is state property, a 21st century commodity, a child of God made out to be a monstrosity. You see my shackles, but you don't see how the poverty locked my spirit in chains or how a lack of equity and equality have my hopes go up in flames. I'm filled with animosity because this country has no shame. They stripped us of our culture and our God-given names now. They're using the criminal injustice system to do the same thing. So here I stand, no longer a man, but reduced the state property. I was birthed by bigotry and corporatism fathered me. They tell me that in America, you can enjoy the fruits of your labor, but I don't see a pair in sight. Capitalism has been leeching off of my labor like it's a parasite. They tell me that God speaks through me and people can rarely bear the sight of my truth since they're new to it. We're the unlikeliest of messengers from God, but no less of a conduit. And people are quick to shun something when they see a conduit. And it doesn't matter who sits in the White House because there's no avoiding the hell that I'm facing. In America, we've had 46 different masters, but it's the same old plantation. COs ain't nothing but overseers and mass incarceration. That's how they keep us enslaved. In my time behind bars, I've learned to stop questioning God, and I've started to question humanity. They look past my eyes and don't see the man in me. Busting my fist against this stone wall just feels like insanity. And no one wants to empathize with the calamity while corporate America is running my life single-handedly. And if this were a game of chess, then our colonizers would be yelling check because they constantly have our black kings inmates. Now companies are getting checks to turn our black kings to inmates. People look at us and don't see people and consider us cons first. I'm not Chuck Taylor, but some might consider my words a converse. We're deemed as workhorses and free labor, getting paid pennies on the dollar, conceding so much paper. We might as well be considered as human fee waivers. Then they throw us things like tablets and phones thinking that they're doing us a favor when they're really just exploiting us and our family bleeding us for our paper so I'll tell you what to take to the Senate or to the governor's mansion how are they going to give us free tablets and charge us to read by the minute? My entire life has been upended. People that look like me are more likely to be sent to the penitentiary and receive a death sentence so I could care less if you're offended by my truth we know that the death penalty has racist roots but each part of this system ain't nothing more than poison fruit Thank you.